Hello, George Parrott here at Eagle Missions in sunny Fort Mill, South Carolina, and I give you greetings and a, a big hug if I could reach through that camera today. And we're here, we're just so thankful for what the Lord is doing, and we rejoice in knowing Him as Lord and Savior, and how He connects us with uh, precious friends like you and many others around the world working in 70 nations. And we're just uh, very, uh, uh, in a state of worship and exaltation of the Lord and, and full of thanksgiving for knowing you and we send blessings into your home. And you know, I love the living word of God and how it changes our life and, and the words just bounce off the page and springing full of the life of Christ and, and holiness and his goodness and how much our Father loves us. And this morning I was uh, reading a few verses that I wanted to share with you. You know, we know that the power of life and death is in the tongue, as we read about in James. And, and I was reading in Philippians 4 and this is from the Amplified Version. Finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. And uh, then I was uh, led to go to 2 Peter, verse 3. Everything we could ever need for life and complete devotion to God has already been deposited in us by His divine power. So He has given you everything already through the completed work of Christ on the cross. He's given us everything that we need. It's already been deposited. For all this was lavished upon us through the rich experience of knowing him who has called us by name and invited us to come to him through a glorious manifestation of his goodness. As a result of this, he has given you magnificent promises that are beyond all price so that through the power of these tremendous promises, you can experience partnership with the divine nature of God, by which you have escaped the corrupt desires that are of the world. So devote yourselves to lavishly supplementing your faith with his goodness, and to goodness add understanding, and to understanding add the strength of self-control, and to self-control add patient endurance, and to patient endurance at godliness, and to godliness and mercy toward your brothers and sisters, and to mercy toward others at undending love. How great is that? How blessed we are that we get to encounter the fullness of his joy for all eternity, but more importantly today, right now, where you are as you meditate on these things that are a virtue of godliness of holiness and the beauty of his holiness goes on in verse 8 to say since these virtues are already planted deep within us and you possess them in abundant supply I'll say that again you possess them in abundant supply now already they will keep you from being inactive or fruitless in your pursuit of knowing Jesus Christ more intimately but if anyone lacks these things he is blind constantly closing his eyes to the mysteries of our faith and forgetting his innocence for his past sins have been washed away. We thank you, Lord, for the rest and the peace that you give us. Father, and through trials and tribulations and just normal busyness of ministry and life and caring for our, those that we work with in our ministry or our job and caring for those in our family that we love so much, Father, let us uh, overlook those things that could be trying of our patience and let us see with your eyes of patience and your eyes of beauty and appreciate the cherished relationships that we're given. Lord, we love you in the relationship that we have with you and Jesus, we love you and we want to love you more and help us to love those around us, overlooking our faults for we're all human and frail and let us extend grace. Lord, help us to be full of forgiveness and love and let us be uh, your vessels to speak encouragement and life and to equip and help others, those all around us, uh, near and far, to walk in the fullness. As the Apostle Paul 
loved. He wanted to see everyone complete in Christ. And that's our desire for you. And finally, I want to leave you with this verse from Zechariah 2.5 to talk about the love of God and the power that he gives us through the Holy Spirit. For I, declares the Lord, will be a wall of fire around her, protecting her from enemies, and I will be the glory in her midst. So I pray the glory of that wall of fire around you and your families and ministry, that no evil, no plague shall come upon you or your house, and that you will walk in the fullness of his joy, and you will go out today and every day and destroy the works of the enemy as you uh, dance in the joy and you dance in the fullness of God's plan and purposes of why he created for you. And you would see yourself the way he sees you as a manifestation on earth of his pure love and his plan to see the way prepared for Jesus, our coming Messiah. In Jesus' name, be blessed.